Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over the three main types of radiation, namely alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. So let's get started. So it says here that the three main types of nuclear radiation are alpha, beta, and gamma. And we're going to look at each one in turn and look at their properties. So the first one we'll look at is the alpha particle. So it says here that an alpha particle, which we can give the symbol alpha, is made up of two protons and two neutrons. And this is the same as the nucleus of a helium atom. So if you're asked what is an alpha particle, you can get away with saying either of these two things. So either two protons and two neutrons, or it's the nucleus of a helium atom. And if we look at this picture here, you'll see we've got two neutrons and two protons, in other words, an alpha particle. It then says that it has a large mass compared to beta particles and gamma rays, so it has the largest mass of the three types of radiation. It also has a positive charge, in particular a charge of plus two, since there are two protons and two neutrons obviously don't contribute to the overall charge because they're neutral. It can travel about three to five centimetres through air, and this is known as its range in air. So its range in air is about three to five centimetres, not very far at all. It's also absorbed by a single sheet of paper. So alpha particles are absorbed or stopped by a single sheet of paper, which means that they're not very penetrating. Moving on to the beta particle now, it says here that a beta particle is a fast moving electron, and we can give the beta particle the symbol of beta. It says here that an atomic nucleus with too many neutrons may undergo beta decay, in which a neutron is converted into a proton and electron. The electron is fired out of the nucleus as a beta particle, whilst the proton remains within the nucleus. So if we look at this picture here, this is sort of demonstrating what we're talking about. So here's a neutron, and if that neutron undergoes a beta decay, then it's going to turn into a proton, but also emit an electron, i.e. the beta particle, during the process. The beta particle has a small mass compared to alpha particles, but a larger mass than gamma rays, so it's sort of in the middle in terms of the mass. It has a negative charge, in particular a charge of minus one, since it is an electron, and remember electrons have a negative charge. It can travel up to a few meters in air depending on its energy. So typically beta particles might travel from tens of centimeters up to two or three meters, depending on their energy. And lastly, beta particles are absorbed or stopped by two to three millimeters of aluminium. Lastly, we have the gamma gamma ray, and it says that a gamma ray is an electromagnetic wave of very high frequency and energy. So you should remember that gamma rays are in the electromagnetic spectrum from the waves topic, and we saw there that they have very high frequency and energy. And we can give gamma the symbol of the Greek letter gamma, and it says that it's emitted when the nucleus of an atom undergoes changes in an attempt to become more stable. So this is quite generic and is what we saw in the video for the atom. It has no mass and no charge. So in terms of mass, it's got the least mass of the three types of radiation because it's got no mass and it's also got no charge. Gamma rays can travel very long distances in air up to several hundreds of meters so we say that it's the most penetrating and it can be absorbed by two to three centimeters of lead but some gamma rays might still pass through. So the idea is that not all gamma rays will pass through lead because it's not a perfect absorber of gamma rays. And in fact, nothing can actually stop gamma rays completely. So here's a picture of that high energy wave, the gamma ray being emitted from the nucleus of an atom. And it's important to note here that the gamma ray is a wave, not a particle. So we have alpha particles and beta particles, but then we have gamma rays, i.e. waves. So two of them are particles and one of them is a wave. Just to show you a quick animation for each type of radiation, so we've got three nuclei here and each one is going to show us the different types of decay. So we've got a nucleus emitting an alpha particle, so you'll notice the two protons and two neutrons of the alpha particle there, and it was a random decay, so it happened after a random amount of time. The nucleus emitting a beta particle looks like this. So you've got your fast moving electron there. And lastly, the nucleus emitting a gamma ray, remember this is a wave. So you've got your unstable nuclei, and it emits the wave and becomes stable. And I'll just show you another animation to help you visualize the absorption of alpha, beta, and gamma. So if we think about alpha particles, first of all, remember we said that they are absorbed by a single sheet of paper. So if we have alpha particles instant on our single sheet of paper here, we should expect that they're going to be stopped by it and not pass through. And if we look at beta particles now, remember beta particles should pass through paper, but they will be absorbed by a few millimetres of aluminium, namely two to three millimetres like we said earlier. So there's our beta particles passing through the paper, but being absorbed by a few millimetres of aluminium. 
Lastly, we have gamma rays, and remember, gamma rays will be the most penetrating, so gamma rays will pass through paper, they'll pass through a few millimetres of aluminium, but then we should expect that the majority of gamma rays will be absorbed by the several centimetres, two to three centimetres of lead. So here's our gamma rays passing through the paper and the aluminium, and notice how most of them are being absorbed or stopped by the lead, but a few of them are still getting through. And remember, that's because lead will not completely stop gamma rays. So if I play all three now, just to show you them side by side. So here's our alpha particles being stopped by paper, beta particles passing through paper, being absorbed by a few millimetres of aluminium, and gamma rays passing through paper, a few millimetres of aluminium, but being stopped by several centimetres of lead. And just to summarise what we've looked at in this video, we can put it all into a table. So we've got a radiation type over here, alpha, beta and gamma, description, relative mass, charge, range in air and absorbed by. So it would be a good idea for you to know all of these properties for the exam. So if we look at alpha first of all, remember we said an alpha particle is a helium nucleus or two protons, two neutrons. Its relative mass is large compared to the other types of radiation. It's got a positive charge. Its range in air, we said, was 3 to 5 centimetres, and it's absorbed by a single sheet of paper. Beta radiation, we said, was a fast-moving electron. We said it also has a small mass compared to the other types of radiation, and a negative charge. And its range in air is up to a few metres, and it's absorbed by 2 to 3 millimetres of aluminium. Lastly, for gamma rays, remember we said that they are electromagnetic waves. Their relative mass is zero, and their charge is zero and their range in air is hundreds of metres or very long distances, and they are absorbed by 2-3 to three centimetres of lead. But remember, not all of them are going to be absorbed by the lead. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.